Hello, this is Angie with the Country Street Cottage Dutton and I'm here today with a video on how to schedule Pinterest pins with Viral Tag. And this is part of a series I'm doing on different Pinterest schedulers. You can check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Angie Country Chic, C-H-I-C. And I've already done Board Booster if you want to check that out. I think Jennifer Priest is going to be joining me with a few other Pinterest schedulers, and I'll have a playlist up on my YouTube channel with all those videos eventually for you. So we're going to do viral tag today and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use viral tag and how I use it personally. If you're on YouTube and you can check out the description below, I will be posting an affiliate link and if you sign up for viral tag and use my affiliate link, I will get a small portion of your fee to use that. So if you want to, you know, buy me a drink or something, you can use my affiliate link. All right, so we're just going to get started. And also, if you have any questions later about Viral Tag, you can do the comments in, on YouTube or tweet me at Country Sheet Cot, C O T T. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right now. Um, also, if you have any comments about um, any other Pinterest schedulers, maybe we should check out and do videos on, tweet me those or leave those in the comments on YouTube. So maybe we can, you know, make this a full series for everyone. All right, so this is my viral tag dashboard. I am part of a grandfathered account, which allows bloggers to share accounts with between five people. Um, I do not think they offer those accounts anymore, and I am not sure about the price on viral tag currently. So if um, you like this video, like what you see with viral tag, definitely check out how much it is and if it works for your business. You might ask around and see if any bloggers have room on their accounts to add you if you want to do that. All right, so this is the dashboard. And you can see the pins I have scheduled currently on the dashboard as well as stuff that's trending on the web. I don't necessarily use the trending stuff to schedule anything, but um, you absolutely can. Then if you click publish, you can see all the pins you have scheduled and when they're scheduled, and I have a whole bunch. And you can also see recent uploads if you wanted to look at that and see what viral tag has been publishing for you. They also have a discovery area where you can pull down different things here, DIY crafts, photography, home and interiors, whatever you would like, and discover pins that you might want to pin to your Pinterest board. I actually do not use this area, so, but if you would like to, to give that a try, there you go. They also have quite a few analytics. I do not use their analytics. I like a few other websites better, but you can definitely take a look at the trends on your account, the trends of your boards, how your content's doing, how your pins are doing, and um, learn a few things. But definitely, you know, Pinterest analytics, if you have a business account, has all this. And that's kind of what I use for different things like this. But you can see your top repins right now and you know what's doing well for you right now. This post right here is doing really well for me, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to use viral tag a little bit and show you how I use it. Number one, the viral tag extension only works with Chrome, and that's what I use primarily. You can also just get the viral tag bookmark and put it in your bookmark bar. That will not work for some of the things I'm going to show you. The very first thing I'm going to show you this bookmark will not work with. You have to use Chrome and you have to use the viral tag um, extension in Chrome to do this very first thing. So the first thing, and one of the reasons I love viral tag so much, is I could go to a board. This is not my board. This is my friend Gina's board, and it's a group board, has tons of great, great pins on it. And I can just scroll down. You know, you can scroll down forever, long, long time. I'm just going to scroll a few times. If you hit that extension, it pulls up all those pins and what I do, you know, all these pins not might, might not work for my audience, but a lot of them will like my audience would probably like this one. So I just scroll through and pick pins that I think my audience would like. And I'm going to pick just a few as an example. When I'm doing this, I like to pick tons of things. OK, and then you hit next and another window pops up. And I can repin, and it's not an official repin, but I can pin all this stuff to one of my boards. That's my board right there. I can schedule that out. 
And what I do is I keep an Excel spreadsheet of when my pins stop. So this is other people's content. And let's say that I'm usually out a week. So let's say I'm out till next week at 8 a.m. is when I need to start again. And I pin someone else's content every 22 to 23 minutes. It's sort of random. <laughs> I don't want an even number. So I would do 22 minutes. I would pick my time zone. And then I would scroll down before I confirm. And I would write down this new time and date on my spreadsheet. So I know when I'm out to. And so when I come back, I want to schedule some more. I can easily do that. And then you would just hit this confirm button. And Viral Tag would schedule those pins for you starting at that time every 22 minutes apart, and then they would go out. So I'm not going to hit that. I'm going to close it out because I don't want to mess up my system. <laughs> okay, so that's one way I use viral tag. You know, going to other people's boards that I really like their style, but I don't usually repin the whole board. I just pin things that I think will work well with my audience and that my audience will like. I study my Pinterest account to find that information out. Second way I use viral tag. This is my website, countryshootcottage.net. This is a post I put up today. What you can do is hit the viral tag extension. Pick the image you want to pin. Click next. And you can clone this pin. So you can clone it. And what I do is I pin it to my projects board first. Clone it. Pin it to the next board, group board or my board, that I think it will work on. Clone it, click the next board, clone it, click the next board, and I just keep going and going and going until I get to every group board and every one of my boards that this pin would possibly work on. And then I hit schedule, and I start it, say, tonight. I'm, I usually, um, my pins do best at night, so I usually pick a, a night time, time, random time. And what I like to do is pin them 1,440 minutes apart because that's 24 hours. Um, I will change that. Say this is a Valentine's Day post. Generally pin each new post um, 30 to 40 times as a general rule. Every 24 hours apart. I'm not going to have time between now and Valentine's Day probably to get that in. So I would decrease this amount. 720 is twice a day. Any time in, any in between that will be different. And every time you put in new minutes in here, the times down here will change. So you can see what time each pin will go and how long they will last by just by scrolling down. And then you would just hit confirm to confirm that you wanted to pin that. And again, I'm going to cancel it because I'll do that later. So I want to pick all those group boards and all those um, boards of mine that that would possibly go on. So I'm going to stop screen sharing now. So that's the ways I use viral tag. You can use it a bunch of different ways. Those are my favorite. I love it for pinning other people, and I love it for pinning my new content. Um, you could absolutely, you know, use that same method for one of your boards that I used when I went to Gina's board, DIY ideas, and picked a bunch of pins. You could go to one of your old boards with your most popular pins and viral tag those out to a group board say every other day so you could just double 1440 minutes and do every other day so you can definitely use viral tag exclusively i use it in combination with board booster and i also have a video on board booster if you want to look back on my youtube channel i have a video on board booster and how to use it as well it's a little more expensive for me but i am on the grandfathered viral tag account so viral tag is a bit cheaper for me so you just need to weigh which one you know, might work for you, and then the cost of that, and how much you have in your budget for your business to amp up your Pinterest game. So I want to thank you for joining me today, and I hope you learned a little bit about, about Viral Tag. If you're going to sign up, I'd appreciate it if you use my affiliate link in the description on YouTube. And um, if you want to learn more about other Pinterest schedulers, be sure to follow along. Thanks so much. Bye.